Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my Atlanta condo. This is where everyone usually gravitates. I always have music playing over here on my record player. People can make a drink or pour themselves a glass of wine. And I always have a snack over, which is easily accessible in my kitchen. The eye catcher in this space is this beautiful work of art. You'll notice I have a lot of original art in my home. This particular piece was painted by a childhood friend of mine named Kia. She has absolutely beautiful art. I'll put her information down below if you guys are interested. You have got to check her out, but I love this piece. I love a good DIY. This is actually one of them. My dad and I turned a plain Ikea dresser into this piece right here, and I love how it came out. I actually have a video about how we did that if you guys want to check that out as well. I did want to include a few upgrades since this is an older condo and one way that I did that was by changing out the lighting. My dad and I actually installed this really cool Sputnik chandelier and I love it because it is ultra modern. I actually installed these matching pendant lights all by myself. One of my favorite things in this space is this African juju hat. I have always wanted one and you'll notice I have a lot of African artifacts here as well. I really love this because it is handmade in Cameroon and it is completely made out of feathers. This is my living space. The vibe for this area is really cozy, comfy, which is why I have this LED fireplace. I love this fireplace so much. It creates such a vibe in here. I didn't stop there with the LED lights. I also installed some behind my TV. The mood in here at nighttime is so good. I have more original art in this space. These canvas paintings beside my TV, I actually painted myself. And it was really easy and fun to do. I have a video about how I made those. Just check the description box. This cool piece I actually found at the Sweet Arbor Festival this year. I'll put the artist information down below. I really fell in love with this piece because if you have an LED light and bring it close to the painting, you can see a whole new painting inside of her body. My absolute favorite piece of original art is this gallery wall of photographs captured by my dad. He actually took these photos back in the 90s and it's very nostalgic. It's of children playing outside, which is not something that you see these days. So it's very nostalgic to look back at and it's a classic, timeless piece of art. The items on my shelves are actually pretty sentimental to me. The wooden sculptures up top were given to me by my grandfather. He is a collector of history and artifacts, so it's very special that he let me have a few pieces from his library, and I have a few more around my home as well. I also have some crystals on here for good energy and some family portraits. This is my kitchen. I haven't really done anything to this space. It's pretty much in its original state. However, I do plan on renovating this area. I would love to change out the countertops, the lighting, and the hardware on the cabinets. I will take you guys through that whole renovation process. This is my guest room. I originally wanted to paint this room black, but my mom picked out this really pretty sage green color that I actually like a lot. It's very calming for a guest room and that's really important that your guests feel nice and calm and relaxed when they're in your home. I made these pillowcases, they were a DIY. I had some mud cloth fabric from a festival that I went to, so I was able to incorporate that in here as well as use the leftover fabric for some DIY wall art. Last but certainly not least, welcome to my favorite place on earth, my bedroom. I wanted the theme for my bedroom to be very luxurious, glam, hotel vibes. So I put in this fur throw, mirrored furniture, and these velvet curtains. You have not experienced luxury until you've had velvet curtains. 
I know it may be a little vain to have pictures of yourself up in your home, but this is my bedroom, so I think I get a pass. This is original art by an amazing photographer named Christopher Rice. He goes by Creative Chris. I'll leave his information down in the description box if you guys want to have a quote to do an amazing shoot. I love the colors he used in these photos and I think it went perfectly with the vibe of my bedroom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love the space as much as I do. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, but you know what they say, it is five o'clock somewhere and I'm about to wind down. Bye guys.